Hello everyone, Sigmar07 here. And, um, well, another month has passed, and you're probably wondering why am I in a different location than where I usually am. Well, that's because I'm currently in my dorm room at college. I am, like, an hour and a half drive away from my house, so... But I figured, since this is the beginning of the month, I might as well do another update on what I've gotten over the month, which I haven't gotten a whole lot, mostly because, like I said, I'm just starting back in school, and I need to put more focus on that, and I need to save money for that, so... But every now and then, if something comes up, I might get, so... Um, but yeah, I have a, quite a few uh, new stuff to show, so let's start with the DVDs I picked up. First up is this DVD I picked up at a um, flea market. That is um, Grizzly Man by Werner Herzog. Um, I've heard a lot of great things about this director's work. I mean, I've only seen Rescue Dawn starring Christian Bale, but his documentaries are said to be really good, and this is considered one of his best. And so yeah, I definitely can't wait to check that out. Next is a documentary on the Walt Disney Company called Waking Sleeping Beauty. I've heard nothing but great things about this, and as someone who's been a fan of the Disney Company, or, well, what they used to be and what they are nowadays, it's pretty questionable. <laughs> but, yeah, I definitely can't wait to check this one out. Um, next, uh, let's see if I can get this pile going. I should mention that half of the stuff I got this month I actually got as a late Christmas present from my, um, my uh, dad's side of the family because just the other day we um, celebrated late Christmas with them because we didn't get to have Christmas with them due to my mom getting positive for COVID. So we finally got to celebrate with them, you know, the other day this past Saturday. And I got quite a few new films from them. Like, these first two are two John Hughes movies. That is The Breakfast Club and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Love Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It's such a classic comedy. And... I don't think I've seen The Breakfast Club yet, but I definitely can't wait to check it out. I know this movie's in the Criterion Collection, which I may someday replace this with that in the future, but just cl glad to have that now. Next is uh, Double double Indemnity. In Indemnity? I think that's how you pronounce it. Consider one of the great classics from the 40s. Again, can't wait to check it out. Um, Rebel with a Cause. Um, uh, James Dean, apparently also starring Natalie Wood from the 1950s. Again, it's another classic I've been meaning to check out. Um, I got two Ron William movies, that being Google Hunting and Dead Poet Society. I've only seen these two movies once, and that was a long time ago, but I do remember really liking them, and I can't wait to revisit them. And I got um, School of Rock, Richard Linklater movie. I saw this movie once, I think, or at least part of it. It was airing on Cartoon Network. And apparently this is a Canadian Blu-ray because it has the um, French title of it, but uh, yeah. But uh, can't wait to revisit this movie to see if it's any good, which from what I hear it's good. Um, these are a few I got myself. Um, the Artist, the winner for Best Picture back in 2011. Um, I've been meaning to check this one out because it just sounds really interesting. I mean, the fact that this pays homage to the silent era of cinema sounds really neat. So, yeah, I can't wait to see that. Next is this Blu-ray, which is really hard to find, but I was surprised I was able to find it on eBay for a reasonable price, and that is Dogtooth. I have not seen a single film by this director, Yorgos Lanthimos. I know he's been highly praised by the film community for his more disturbing content, or at least at least some of the, of the stuff he covers in his movies. Like, the premise of this movie does sound really intriguing about this family who basically psychologically abuse their children by teaching them all this crap, you could say, but definitely can't wait to check it out, so, yeah. Next, I picked up The Raid Collection, which comes with the, uh, the Raid Redemption and The Raid 2. I did watch The Raid the other day, and I can see why it's considered one of the best action films of the past decade. It was super fun, it's super graphic, well, maybe not super graphic, but great action scenes that didn't require the typical, you know, quick cuts that a lot of awful action movies do, and... I have not seen The Raid 2 yet. I definitely can't wait to check it out. I hear that it's just as good as the first film, even though it has more plot than the first one. So, yeah, definitely can't wait to check it out. I just got this because it was really cheap, so, yeah. Next up are... Funny enough, these are some some uh, documentary films. I mean, I already showed you Grizzly Man and, the, and uh, Waking Sleeping Beauty. But here are three documentaries that picked up on Blu-ray. First being another Werner Herzog film, Encounters of the End of the World. This is a documentary set in Antarctica. Again, can't wait to watch it. I've always loved nature documentaries, so 
And next up, uh, these two movies go hand in hand, the act of killing and the look of silence. And apparently, these are made by the same director, they're kind of, they kind of go together as in, The Act of Killing came out first, and then two years later he released The Look of Silence, which is like the companion piece to this film. And um, I guess, you know, it's kind of like with Clint Eastwood's movies, Flags of Our Fathers and um, Letters to Iwo Jima, and that they, you see both sides of the story. But can't wait to check them out. Well, apparently this blur comes with two versions, the director's cut and the theatrical cut. So I might try the theatrical cut first, although some say the director's cut is really good. But yeah, been in a documentary mood lately. Um, next is um, this um, movie that has finally, for the first time, gotten a Blu-ray release, and that is Satin Tango. I've yet to watch this movie. I am a little intimidated, though, because it's like seven and a half hours long. But um, I am very curious to check it out. I hear it is a very slow movie, though. I mean, yes, it's seven and a half hours long, but there are, it has its slow moments, but it's said to be worth the watch. So, yeah. And then we have a TV show that I picked up that I've heard nothing but great things about, and that is The Chosen. Um, this is apparently a story based on Jesus and his followers and all that, I think. But it's described by many as one of the best Christian-related um, series to come out in recent years. And, and I will say, as a Christian myself, I'm a little hesitant when it comes to Christian or religious media. Because a lot of times they come off as propaganda or just not very well-told stories, but I've been curious to check this one out because it's been getting an immense amount of praise, even by people who aren't religious, so I definitely can't wait to watch this one. And then finally, I got a few Criterions. Um, first up is uh, Barry Lyndon. I saw this movie once when I did my war movie marathon, and I remember really liking it, but I definitely would like to revisit it again. Because this, a lot of people call this Stanley Kubrick's underrated masterpiece. Like, it doesn't get as much attention as The Shining, A Clockwork Orange, or 2001 A Space Odyssey. Um, but yeah, I definitely have to rewatch it again. Um, then we got uh, these two Criterions I actually also got as a late Christmas gift by my family members. First being The Elephant Man. I had the DVD for a while, but now Criterion released it, and... Yeah, I love this movie. It's one of the few David Lynch films I've seen. I think the only other Lynch movie I've seen so far is Eraserhead. But yeah, I really love this movie. It's very tragic, very eerie, but such a good story. And then finally is a movie in the Criterion Collection I've always wanted to check out, and I might watch it today if I feel up to it, and that is Bicycle Thieves. Um, I've seen this film probably a lot on Best Movies Ever, and the plot itself just really intrigues me, so... And I've been really getting into Italian cinema with th films like Life is Beautiful. So yeah, definitely can't wait to watch that. And so, uh, yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, that's all I got through the month of January. Like I said, only half of the stuff I got myself, and the other half was like a late Christmas gift, so yeah. But... Don't expect an awful lot of stuff these next few months, because like I said, I am currently at school right now, as you can see in my dorm room. And as for Heroes vs. Villains, I will say I did get one fight complete, finally. It's, yeah, life's just been very busy. But I would like to try, when I'm not busy with schoolwork, because that has to come first, obviously. When I'm not busy with school, I'll try to work the best I can. I'm still trying to get to this new laptop I'm currently using. Like this, you might notice this webcam is slightly better quality than the one my other one. But, yeah. But, so, don't worry about Heroes of Villains. I'll try to see if I can get it out as soon as I can. But, like I said, a lot's going on. So, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time. Later.